Now, if you find choosing colours a little bit difficult and scary, let's make it easier for you so you can get it right first time with our top tips for choosing colour. Now, the match pots are absolutely brilliant for choosing colour. They're the real paint, so when you see it on the wall, you'll see what colour you're going to select. But just one top tip you might find, rather than putting it directly onto the wall, use a piece of card or piece of paper, and also use a piece of masking tape. And it'll enable you to put it on any position in the room so you can see what the colour's going to look like. A great tip is to choose something that's very personal to you within your home either some artwork, an ornament, a rug, something that you really like and you like the colour palette and then from there we can build the scene of your room. Another great idea here from Crown for choosing colour, these are pure paint samples. You can order these off the Crown website and they're ideal because of the real paint applied onto this paper card. You can actually put them direct onto the wall or if you wanted to go in the shop and choose your soft furnishing for example, you can match them up ideally. Before we choose colour, what we actually need to establish is what style of room we want to achieve, whether we want to go down the traditional route or the more contemporary modern styling. Once we've made that decision, choosing the colour becomes easier. What you'll notice in some rooms where you've got particularly high ceilings or indeed your low ceilings, or a space that's quite small or indeed very big, you can change the feel of that room with the types of colour you choose. Darker colours will tend to bring the wall in or the ceiling down. Lighter colours will recede them. So you can change the influence of the room and the space by choosing the right type of colour. So where do we get our inspiration from? A really good tip is to flick through magazines, look at pages with room sets in that you think would suit you and go from there. Tear them out carry them with you. When you see fabrics that you like, ask for samples, carry that with you. What you're starting to do then is to actually build up your mood board for your room. Carry this with you, you won't go wrong, you'll always have your colours with you. Now some rooms naturally feel warm, sometimes they feel cool. And that's down to the type of lighting in the room. So what you need to do is when you're thinking about colours, select the colours which are more suitable. If you want to warm the room up, Think about using some of the deeper, darker shades. And indeed, when you want to make it feel a little bit cooler, you've got some of the more lighter shades, which will indeed do that for you. Not all of us are lucky to start with a blank canvas. Most of us have pieces of furniture that we have to use that stay in the room that we're going to decorate. That's fine. That's our starting point. What is the colour of the fabric that we have to stay with? So if this is our starting point, this is our sofa, this is where we are. Choose a complementary colour great thing to do, look through a colour card, choose either coordinating colours or contrasting colours and maybe lift the room with a feature wall to enhance the furniture that you already have. When we're choosing colour we've got to consider it's actually an energy force because of the way the light reflects off the colour. It actually makes you feel energised or relaxed. So what are you going to use the room for? For example, if it's a child's playroom, a bright orange is fine, but if that's where the baby's going to sleep at night, it may be overstimulating for the baby, so therefore it doesn't get a good night's sleep. So think about what you're going to use the room for when you're selecting your colour.